What's up guys, this is Grant and today we are adjusting the engagement RPM of my go-kart to see if we can get it to spin tires or pop a wheelie by changing out the springs and the roller weights in the drive unit of my 40 series torque converter. So let's go check it out. Here's our Comet 40 series manual, okay? And what we're looking at right here is the drive clutch engagement chart. If you go down here to where it says cam rollers on the left hand side, I chose to put in the medium rollers. That's part number 203649. Um, actually has an A on the end of it, but that A doesn't matter. And if I stuck with the stock springs, the yellow springs, I would have an engagement RPM of 2200 RPM. Um, not going to do that. The reason why is I chose red springs as an engagement RPM of 2600 RPM. So when you're choosing an engagement RPM of 2600, uh, that's not going to be too fun if you're going on the trails and just putting around on your go-kart. But if you want to race it or have the best launch possible, you want to have your engagement RPM equal to your max torque RPM. And for this engine, if you look at the torque curve chart for this particular engine, um, I advanced it, the timing a little bit so it shifted the torque curve up a tiny, tiny bit. But that's right around 25, 2600 RPM. So we're going to have the best launch possible by putting our engagement RPM at our max torque RPM. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so now we're just going to hopefully be able to impact off the drive unit uh, retaining nut. There you have it. And this should just slide off. I'm not going to worry about the belt but usually you can take the belt off. Okay, since this is a knockoff version of the Comet 40 series, rather than welding this nut on there, like the Comet did, it looks like they fabricated it in a little different way. Easy peasy. Do that by hand now. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that's spring loaded. Okay. So that's as far as we need to disassemble it. Just for good measure, we're going to take this uh, dry lube and just do a very tiny coat on there and we'll let it dry while we're working on it. The reason why I'm using this paper plate is just to shield everything because you don't want lubrication on the plates where the belt is going to ride. This should be pretty easy. Rollers just pop off like that. We'll lube this up in a minute. But pretty much what we want to take from these old rollers are these little clips inside of them, right? I'm just going to pop it in this other one. There you go. So up, 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 down, down, down. You know, they kind of self-adjust, so you really don't have to worry about it. We're going to line these two bad boys up, put it back together. And the reason why it's wearing like that is that once you get it in place so where it's supposed to be, see the bottom's not rotating but the top is just a tiny bit. So that is just another crappy design flaw that's not in the original Comet 40 series. This is the Chinaman version. And, uh, you know, we're seeing a little bit of wear there. So that might be a point of wear as you have a lot of torque, just going to keep wearing it out and wallowing it out. <coughs> I did this off camera just when I was playing with it, but I torqued it down pretty hard. And we're not getting that wobble back and forth. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. And then to lock it in place, it's 
Looks like we just bend this up. Now, uh, there's a right way to put the belt on and that's drive unit first. Pop it on, then roll the cart forward with the drive unit like that. So that's how you should take it on and off, is just rolling it on and off the, dri the driven unit. All right, we're not gonna name names here, but if you don't torque your bolt down to the proper torque specs, you should at least put some thread locker on there. Now this is blue thread locker, so it's temporary. You don't wanna do red thread locker unless you plan on leaving that bolt on there forever. And you don't really need red thread locker at all with these smaller bolts. So there you have it. Let's go for a ride. guys so what are a few takeaways here um, I would say number one is that you can change the engagement RPM of your torque converter whether it be a 30 series or 40 series by changing out springs and or weights uh, it's not uh, optimal to do this if you're going to be doing trail riding to increase your engagement RPM but if you're going to do a little bit of racing you can set your engagement RPM to the max torque RPM that your engine puts out to get a good launch uh, second thing we learned is I'm obviously still too fat for my go-kart. <laughs> um, you know, there's going to be a few things that I'm going to change on it to see if I can get a little bit more torque, but I did pull a baby wheelie and I did do an incline wheelie, okay? But I was really hoping I could pull the full wheelie, but just too much weight in the front um, and not enough torque. And that's pretty much, I think, the max torque that I'm going to be able to pull out of this without doing some serious work like milling the head or boring it out to a bigger bore um, or uh, you know messing with a little inertia in there with a flywheel but I'm, I'm not really gonna mess with a lot of that I'm just gonna try and get a smaller head gasket to get a tiny bit more torque do a little bit of porting um, that type of stuff and uh, put that battery in there and get it all going so then I can finalize this and move on to my next project so Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.